welcome to Come For It Life channel. I am so happy to see you here today. I am in my kitchen again and today I'm going to show you how you can easily prepare a magnesium oil spray. Well, um, magnesium oil, basically magnesium, if you are all new into this magnesium thing, you can watch my video where I explain, um, you know, in details why it is um, a vital uh, mineral for everyone, why people mostly everyone is deficient and what symptoms um, can indicate the deficiency and what you can do about it. So one of the things you can do about it is to um, try to incorporate either, you know, uh, magnesium rich foods into your diet or get a magnesium supplement in the powder form or in the peel form or use a magnesium oil on your body. Your skin absorbs magnesium pretty well. Magnesium oil is uh, um, something you can easily prepare at home. It contains only two ingredients and you would be surprised, you know, because magnesium oil is not really oil, it's just the solution of the magnesium flakes. So the first ingredient and the main ingredient will be the pure magnesium flakes, basically magnesium chloride brine and um, well, uh, I get the Life Flow brand, it's really like 100% pure magnesium chloride uh, flakes and uh, well I trust this brand. For this recipe um, I will just you know shoot straight and show you how to do it. You will need to boil um, half a cup of uh, pure like distilled water and you know let me pour the half a cup here and you will need the magnesium flakes. I mean, you don't really need to buy this much because, uh, you know, if you just want to use it for the oil, because I also use it when I, uh, let's say, prepare a bath, because you could use half a cup of magnesium flakes and just uh, put it into, into your bath and soak. So we will, um, so we shall need half a cup of magnesium flakes. We are boiling the water because we will need to make sure that this, uh, that the flakes dissolve in water really well. Um, so at once, they dissolve, we'll just uh, put this solution into the spray bottle. You could use any type of uh, spray bottle on hand. You know, I prefer using the ones, uh, I guess it's called amber glass, the dark glass. See, it is already dissolved. Very fast and easy. So once this is done, okay, now it's 100% dissolved and I will just pour it into the spray bottle. So as you see, it took me probably less than a minute to prepare uh, this magnesium oil and I'm using a small bottle. So this recipe will call for two uh, bottles like this. So I'm just going to finish one while making this video. So and I am done. So this is our magnesium oil. Very easy and the reason I like to make it uh, because it is a lot a lot cheaper rather than buying it and you can always make as many you know uh, bottles as, as you want you know to give it to your friends or family. Now how you need to use magnesium oil. So this is a spray right so you would need to use uh, from 10 to 30 sprays you know a day on your body. Make sure when you're using it you would probably have some white film because it's salt and uh, when it dries don't be alarmed. I mean, some people even don't have that. Also, you might feel some tingling sensation when you are applying it. Some people also say that it goes away while you're, you know, build up your magnesium uh, in the body and the uh, sort of, if you're not deficient, you won't really feel this tingling sensation. Make sure you apply, you do not apply it on the sensitive parts of your skin or by no means apply it on the, um, the you know, on the legs after you're shaving them because it will be not good. Do not um, apply it on the creases too. I would suggest applying it on the big areas where it could really be absorbed like the stomach area or the arms and uh, make sure you keep it on your body for 20 or 30 minutes um, if you because some people really uh, don't like this dangling sensation they want to just wash the solution off their skin some people really don't bother or after 20 or 30 minutes they just apply you know body lotion or oil or of course you can take a shower I do not really have uh, like a very severe tangling sensation so it doesn't really bother me but every skin is different and every person is different so you might be more sensitive to it or not do not get alarmed the tangling sensation is absolutely normal also make sure you do not uh, you know use this oil you know so it doesn't get into your eye or in carts or in burns. 
Also, if you are doing the dry brushing massage, it might make your skin also more sensitive. I would just uh, not do this one after another. So after dry brushing, taking a shower, do not try maybe not using this oil. Maybe do this in the evening instead. Because, um, but you can try. You know, you could do it a little, uh, a little test. Do not apply lots of uh, sprays. Just do like a couple on your hand and see how you like it. You will definitely see, um, you know, the white film if you have it, if you don't, if you have a tangling sensation. If you're not, if you need to use a lotion afterwards, because some people really love using it, and I do too. Now, if if the tangling sensation that you have is really bothering you too much, and you think that you cannot really use it, you don't like the way it feels, you could dilute the solution with more water. Try to add one quarter of a cup or a little more. So basically see how it works for you and then you can probably try to return to the original recipe and see if you still have this tangling reaction. Now, if, if the tangling sensation that you have is really bothering you, too much and you think that you cannot really use it, you don't like the way it feels, you could dilute the solution with more water. Try to add another, uh, you could dilute the solution with more water, so maybe add uh, one quarter of a cup or a little more, so basically see how it works for you and then you can probably try to return to the original recipe and see if you still have this tangling reaction. So the, the way I usually use it, I apply this on my, you know, my body, my legs and my stomach and before the shower, like 20 minutes before the shower. Now, um, I use it on a daily basis. Uh, if I take magnesium powder, I usually, you know, don't do too much because moderation is the key. Uh, but I really find this very comfortable. You know, you wake up, you use it. Always use it on the clean, dry skin. You do not need to refrigerate uh, this oil. It could be stored in your bathroom for up to six months. But trust me, it's going to be gone before that. And uh, uh, just remember that the magnesium deficiency is really widespread and this mineral is incredibly important for the overall health. It helps people uh, with so many different things and health problems. It helps people to manage the stress, to improve their sleep, it helps with hormone levels. It really helps for, you know, it, it helps all other nutrients to get properly absorbed in your body. It also helps people with hormone balance. It definitely helps with muscle pains and muscle cramps. You can also use it in the bath, as I've mentioned already. And um, this is a very simple way for you to add magnesium into your life and in, to get it into your body. You might still have a question why I'm using magnesium flakes instead of Epsom salts. Well, you could use still Epsom salt, but Epsom salt is magnesium sulfate, which um, is believed to be a little bit more drying on the skin and it does not get absorbed by your skin um, as well as the magnesium flakes. So I hope you guys like this video. It is a very simple thing you could um, do for yourself and for your health. I'm in love with this oil because I believe that it helps me to reduce the stress. It improves my sleep and basically it's good for the overall health. As always guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I do wish you to stay very happy, healthy and positive. If you like this video and if you like this recipe, please put the thumbs up. Of course, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video very, very soon.